obviously the vote last night in the Dáil was very significant. Um, it is the first time in the history of the state that a person outside of Fianna Fáil or Fine Gael actually got most votes for the position of Taoiseach. And how it is now emerging is that there will be a clear choice to be made, on the one hand for a, a, a government of change, or on the other hand the, the carve up of power again between uh, the two old parties of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. And I know which of those the people want. We are absolutely determined that the mandate for change becomes a government for change. That's our job, that's our work and we've had a, a, a series of engagements with other parties, with other independents. We're going to continue with that, that will deepen in the coming week. And we are open to talk with everybody. It's just wrong. It is wrong for Hall Martin or anybody else to disregard representatives of such a substantial section of the Irish people. That's wrong. And I absolutely know that there are people within Field of Fall who know that that is wrong. You don't uh, adopt such an arrogant stance and insist that the representatives of the party that got the most uh, votes in the last election, that you won't engage with them, that they're to sit on the sidelines. So that's not democratic. And I think next week really marks the moment where the policy conversations will deepen. And it will ultimately come down. And parties have to make decisions on this. Um, our decision is for change. Our mandate is for change. The election was about change. And what we need now is a government of change. Any party or individual who's thinking of returning Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael to government again, the old government back in place, is really defying the wishes uh, and the votes of the public.